Hello everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel and EssenceOfMe.com. I just recorded another video and I said I will come back and show you all again both the knit crate as well as the yarn box for the March, the month of March 2014. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. And I wanted to do a comparison. I cannot recall if I've seen anybody do one, and that really doesn't matter. I mean, everybody's opinions are different, but I think it's important. I mean, I would like to see something like that for several reasons. Number one is because of the cost that's associated, and every yarn subscription is different. Also, because the offerings are different. I mean, if you have noticed now, I'm still, I'm sorry, I'm like getting used to this bang, and it's uh, really sorry. Um, if you've um, paid attention to any other subscription services, whether it's makeup, there's health subscriptions, you have the yarn subscriptions, and there are so many of them because right now I think they're just extremely popular. I think you can get different things. And if you don't know what the options are, then you may select one and it may not be to your liking. And I mean, you may still get it and not like it. But I wanted to maybe show a comparison between the two. Um... And so let's get started. Now, I did do an unboxing for both um, separately. I'm going to show them both again here. I will put the links to the, in the description box for um, both of them because I wanted to do that separately. And so um, I'm going to show you again real quick. Um, basically, in comparison, first of all, packaging. Uh, this is the uh, packaging for the Knit Crate. And this was the packaging for the um, yarn box. And I'm going to just, if I fluff the names, <laughs> forgive me. Now, I just love the sticker that um, yarn box uses. I just love it. Caution yarn inside may cause extreme happiness. And the packaging on the um, knit crate, they actually have a, a sticker, curated knitting and crochet surprise packages just for you and this red I don't know if this is every month because this was my first time receiving it it just reminds me of Christmas so it reminds me of opening packages so you know birthday presents or Christmas presents. it just reminds me of a gift so that does go with a little their little slogan or tagline for the packaging and so inside they both come with um, details about the month's box and this is a um, um, double-sided colored postcard that is um, gloss coated. Now, if you don't know anything about postcards, this is really good for postcards because if you waste something or spill something on it, they will still hold. Now, these are not patterns, but still, that's a really great thing. For um, Knit Crate, it is... It reminds me of um, brochure paper. That's what it is. It reminds me of brochure paper. You know how brochure, brochure paper has sometimes like a little bit of a gloss or a sheen to it, um, but it doesn't have the firmness of the um, yarn box. And they both provide information. They both provide discount codes. The discount codes for yarn box, it was one for 10% and one for 30%. And it was based on the author of the featured patterns. The featured patterns was a hat and a cowl. Now, I did not look the, um, I did not look the featured patterns up. But because the yarn that they provided was a total of 400 and almost 80, no, 400, yep, yeah, and almost 480 yards, I'm sure both of these projects would be able to be completed with the yarn that they gave. For, um, for Knit Crate, they had three featured patterns. And or they had yeah three featured patterns, and they and they're by the same author, I believe. And they provide a promo code for a pattern at thirty 
up uh, for 50%. And they also provide uh, uh, promo codes for more yarn. And that's what's different. I'm sorry, my brain is trying to process and talk at the same time. And so they also provide that. And so that's great. So if you want to order more of this yarn, because this was that silver spun yarn, I re remember now. And so, um, yes, that's as far as the inside of the packaging is concerned. For yarn box, the, the, the yarn just comes in the box and it's um, co covered with tissue paper. And for knit crate, it came in a project bag. And I, again, I don't know if this is every month. I don't think that it is, though, because the outside of the project bag has the name of the yarn company. So I believe that the project bag, ha it has to do with the company. But what I do want to say about packaging and concerning the yarn, I like that they have this little, um, what do you want to call it? This little, you y'all know what this is. If you don't, it's this little shiny, I'm going to call it thingy. But why I like it is because if there was to get any water or anything on the packaging as it's being en route to you or once it gets to your location, it shouldn't damage anything because it's a, it's coated with a fine plastic and then it has that little foil looking stuff inside of it. But the packaging is very secure. The yarn box is in a box. And so there was no plastic or anything wrapped around the yarn. So if anything would have wasted in transition, if, if they would have left the package on my porch and it would have been raining, my yarn would have been ruined or I would have been soaking wet. So I would have had to figure out something to take care of that. And so the packaging on the knit crate for that would have definitely, I mean, it would have been, I consider it better. So to the yarn, here's the yarn for yarn box. And here is the yarn for Knit Crate. Ooh. Okay. This is worsted weight, 50% silk, 50% merino. This is... It doesn't say... And I am not the best one at doing a guesstimation. But looking at the gauge, the suggested gauge and the needle size, I would say this is probably fingering weight. I'm reading the paperwork. It doesn't say. I would guess that this is fingering weight. I would say finger and weight. And so this is 173 yards per scheme. So that's 340, 346 yards. Now they give this project bag, but I'm just going to say it right now. This project bag is kind of cheesy because the... Uh, handles have already come apart the little string and it's not done as a double um a double wrap around in the drawstring section and it's done with this um the type of string that you use for a friendship bracelet so it's not very good i probably will just run another another string through it if i want to actually use this bag because that it's not going to hold up and I haven't done anything with it. I've only up opened it a couple times. Now to the, the other stuff. The yarn box does not come with anything else. It was just the yarn and the postcards and the coupons. The knit crate comes with other items. They have a the, the rulers and so that you can get the measurement of your um, needles. And it also came with a little fun treat, which is this candy. And I didn't open it at the time. I'm not a candy person. But I guess if I'm making a comparison, I could say, while I try to fight with this, I'm going to pop it open. Um, I am going to tell the price of the boxes because, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so here it is. And they're individually wrapped. I hope this is good. If it's not, my kids will be glad because I'm sure they'll eat it. Kids will eat any kind of candy. I can't taste anything. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad, though. They said it was pink grapefruit. I don't taste grapefruit. It tastes like um, pink lemonade. That's what it tastes like. It's not overly sweet, though, which is a good thing. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I would eat them. It would definitely just be because you just want to have a candy. I don't know. Okay. So, there's extras. With all of that said, um, I still don't know if I am going to continue with the Nick Crate. Um, I'm going to talk dollars and cents. It could change at any time. Um, I purchased these both with my own money um, because I wanted to just see what they're about and I wanted to be able to bring that to my channel. Um, and so with that said, the Nick Crate... I believe it was over $60. Was it over $60? I believe it was over $60. Um, I'm saying off the top of my head, I believe it was $65. And I'm wondering. I'm going to see if I can look it up online. This is a new computer to me. And I. I'm going to see if I can. Um, yes, I think it was. I can't see now. I did an intermediate. Okay. Okay, it was, it's $55 as of today. If you do the intermediate advance. And they have a beginners and intermediate advanced indie. They also have baby and sock. And they have add-ons. And for yarn box, as of today, it's recording. Um, yarn box is I believe it was oh thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. No, 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 no. I take that back. I'm sorry. I was right. Oh, it's $40. $40. $40 if you do just month to month because if you do more at one time, like if you pay for three months or six months, it brings the price down. And I think the lowest that I saw was $35. So that was $55 versus $35. I mean, $55 versus $40. I'm thinking. I'm looking at them. So in the end, um, what do I think? Of course, this is all a personal guesstimate. Um, um, I'm going to just kind of run through what I'm thinking. And I would love your feedback and comments in this section, especially when it concerns what you saw and the cost and the price. And let's just kind of chit chat about it. Um, would I select either, either of these yarns if I saw them in a store? No. That's not a good, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I just wouldn't. Um, neither one of these are necessarily my color palette. The green, even though I'm wearing green today, is not something that I wear often. But at the same time, because of the way the, the yarn feels, I think this is really going to be based on what I decide to use it for. And so I will really have to look for a pattern that I think it can go with. And I think I have something in mind. Hmm. And so, I'm sorry, it came to me. 
And so neither one of these are my palette. The other one, which is this, um, it's an off-white color. Uh, I It has little speckles. Um, not speckles as in like um, extra fibers or something attached to it. But it has little speckles of... Um, brown or tan and this is may not help, help not may not be helping very much oh that is okay that's not bad oh there we go oh genius sorry <laughs> so it's like little speckles of tan I'll take pictures and insert them of both um it's very very faint now this would be a color that I like but I wouldn't do it alone and so I would do it with something else because I like tans but I like tans with like a chocolate brown or um, something of that nature. So I would not have just selected this on its own. And so, um, th but the fact that it's silver spun and it has all those other qualities, I mean, it seemed like it was nice, but it wouldn't have been enough to make me purchase it on my own. I would solely probably purchase something like that if I was making something for someone and those were characteristics that would be beneficial to that person. And so that's what I would do. So that's the yarn. As far as the extras, they are great to have, but not, in my opinion, enough to have that $15 price difference um, because I would not um, choose. I'm so sorry because this is I would not choose the candies. Now, we are so family right now. I'm just going to do this. There we go. I would not. Yay. I would not choose the candies um, and I wouldn't and those um, rulers one would go in a bag I mean would be great for project bag because because it's small and the other one would um, be great for just keeping around um, my crafting stuff and so I would use them but I have others that I already use and so if you're already a crafter those are probably things that you already have in your crafting bag so I don't know how much of a benefit that is um, but that's just me. And so that's for the extras. As far as the price is concerned, at this moment, this very, very moment, I feel like I believe I got the greatest benefit with the yarn box because the price and the yarn um, that was given, the yardage that was with the yarn. And also, if you ever purchase yarn from your, um, like a local yarn store, it's, you can easily quickly pay anywhere between 15 to 25 dollars for a skein of nice yarn and so I don't do that a lot for my own pieces um but I do that when I buy for other people like when I do my yarn swaps and things like that I will go to my local yarn store and purchase yarn that usually I mean I buy for myself I've even purchased $30 yarn for somebody else because it was really nice and it just called to me but I've never done that necessarily for myself and I'm not saying that I wouldn't but these yarns are on that caliber and so with that said I can say that on the other hand, I think both of them are great if it's a treat for yourself and that's something that you would like to do for yourself. If you're a person like me that you probably spend more money on, more buy more expensive yarn for other people, then that may be something really cool if you're doing like what I'm going to do and that I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to swap it. I'm going to do something for me. And if I make something and somebody asks for it, I, I'm notorious for giving it away. But... um. Yeah, I think it if you're if you're doing it like I'm doing it and it's something for yourself and you want to make some things for yourself and maybe try something new that you've never done before then that will be great. If cost is a, is an issue and I'm not like balling, you know, out of control um as in I, there's just not like all this extra money to just spend $55 on yarn. If I had to choose one for the month of March, I would choose Yarn Box. And I still not have not decided about Knit Crate. I think what I'm going to do is get Knit Crate maybe two more months and decide then if I'm going to continue. Because with doing both of them, that means technically I could do it for three or four months and have enough yarn to do a new project for myself every month just about. Wait, because if I did three months, that would be three times two, which is six. That would give me six 
skeins of yarn. So that means every other month I could do a nice size of substantial project. It also would give me an opportunity to see what the yardage is and what type of projects can be done. Because with Knit Crate, they were showing things like little hand muffin, hand mittens and things like that. I don't make that kind of stuff. And so I would need something with more substantial. I would make a shawl or a cowl or I make other things, but not for this kind of yarn. So those are hats sometimes but I as you see today which I'm wearing my cable hat you can't really see I'm sorry the lighting is so bad in here um my hats would require I wouldn't use those to make hats though so it, it's neither here nor there I wouldn't those are probably turn into cowls shawls um little kerchief thick like handkerchief kind of thing you know those shawl kerchief I've seen it it's so wrong. Those shawl little, I'm not going to stop. Because <laughs> I'm going to keep saying kerchief. And it's, I know it's wrong. But you know, kind of like, like the way I did the hitchhiker one. The asymmetrical type of, where it has a point triangle shape or loosely triangle shape type of thing. I think that's what I will end up doing these for. Because I get more versatility out of them and more use out of them. And so... If I was to close out this um, this month's March comparison between the yarn box and the knit crate, I would say for the month of March, I preferred the yarn box. And so um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, again, if you are a subscriber to either one, is this something that you would do? Um, that I, The fact that I've shared the prices, is that something that you would consider? Do you think it's worth it? I mean, I showed you everything that was in the box. If that was your hard-earned $40, <laughs> would, do you think that you would find that this is a worth your money? And if this was your hard-earned $55 in... I think both of them had shipping was free. But I think there was tax. So, but here. One more thing in closing. Um, this is um, something that would be a great gift, though, because both of them did not have any sort of packaging or um, invoice or receipt or anything of that nature inside. And so this would be a great gift. Oh, like you could, look at me getting all fancy, but then again, it goes back to the price and how much you're willing to pay for a gift for someone else. You could, um, and then it's falling again, of course. You could subscribe and then like gift it every month. And if you were to buy, like with the yarn box, that would be technically, if you went in the store, that would be cheaper than a high-priced one skein of yarn. So you would get two if, it, if they do two every month. And that would be pretty good, I think. But you would just have to just want to be a really good giver and you know that you give on a regular basis and maybe you keep some for yourself and maybe put some to the side, but that would save you on shopping. But then my only problem with that would be what if you get a month and you don't like what's in it? And so I haven't had to cross that bridge yet. With that all said, I'm rambling now. Um, as always, I appreciate your support. Tell me, what do you think? Are you a subscriber to these boxes? If so, um, what did you think of what you received this month? And did you get the same things? Um, I know Knit Crate is broken up by skill set or which one you select. So I don't know if everybody that received the intermediate advanced box would receive the same yarn, but that's what I received. And for yarn box, I'm almost certain it's going to be, it can be different across the board because you have different color selections. And so with that said. I'd love to read your comments, um, to get your feedback and to talk with you in the comment section. Um, I think that's it. This is more like a vlog video because like my setting is different. It's kind of easier for me to do this. I'm not going to do a bunch of editing or changing, um, but I am going to upload them. I will include pictures of the yarn just because it was so hard to see. And I do not know if I did it in the last videos 
and I'm almost certain that I didn't. And so that'll be a benefit of watching this one too. And so tell me which one you would have picked. If you had to choose one, which one? And if you are a subscriber to it, tell us what you received. And if you've been a subscriber for more than a couple of months, have it ha do you believe it's been a benefit and have you enjoyed it? I think that will be great for readers to hear or read um, and to interact about because there's so many of these things popping up and so it would be great to see what you think. So with that said, I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. I look forward to coming back soon. I need to take a nap because <laughs> I'm tired. But I will get this um, the pictures in at the end of this video. And I will talk with you all hopefully sooner than later. Take care and have a great day. Goodbye.